Hi guys, I'm Phil Ellis and welcome to today's video. I'm afraid today's video is a bit more serious. Why is that? Well, last night I woke up in a fevered sweat. I heard sirens and I heard explosions and I thought, got to get out of the house, make it to the countryside. And I realised I'm packed a, an escape bag. So today I'm going to show you guys how to get your escape bag ready. All right, hope you enjoy it. And again, don't let it upset you too much. It's just, we've just really got to start looking at these kind of things now, however hard they may be. So strap in, because today's, it's a heavy one. All right. got everything ready but why are we taking these essentials well for example you've got potatoes carrots and uh, peas good for nutrition uh, knock off spam again making another second appearance corned beef chicken paste some strawberry jam um not starting fires or burning a corpse don't know do you you've got to treat yourself haven't you otherwise you're just going to get sad uh again treat yourself or you might meet a pervert and uh to make it easier you got your weapons and a spade. Now that's for chopping off heads in case the people mutate. It's a hammer for that's multi multi purpose that for defending yourself and for putting in nails. Again, multi purpose. Spade, that's your weapon. Again, good for digging. Uh, little known fact, I chopped the big toe on my left foot off with a spade when I was six years old. They reattached it and my mum bought me a glow worm. So, you know. Um Again, good to have a hobby whilst you're on the road. Uh, start fires and again, help your hobby. That's wiping your ass on or tears, depending on your emotional status. And last but not least, this guy. Why are you bringing him along? Well, apart from the fact that you can heat him up and he's a hot water bottle. The other reason is, one, comfort. You could have something to talk to about that film, uh, Tom Hanks and what's it called? Big. Good to have something to talk to. Um, and uh, you might have to pretend to be a simpleton on the road so people don't attack you to steal your shit. You know, so if they come up to you go, hey, can we have that? I just go, I don't know what you're talking about. What the hell with the hedgehog? So now we've got all our stuff, Phil. Uh, we're ready to go, aren't we? No. <laughs> you need the bag. So let's have a look at a few of the options. A rucksack. Or is it a backpack? It's a bag, isn't it? You put on your back. Lots of compartments there, very good. You can take your laptop with you. I wouldn't bother with that myself. Uh, good straps for your back. <laughs> I bet you think that rucksack looks pretty sweet, don't you? Yeah, it's perfect. I use that in the apocalypse to carry my stuff around afterwards. <laughs> Congratulations, because you know what? You're dead. Yeah, you're an idiot. You can't, if you take that out, that's just waving a flag, sending a flare up into the uh, sky saying, hey guys, I've got loads of shit, why don't you come and rob me? Idiot. This is what you need. Bag for life. Booze is a very well respected family owned chain of supermarkets in the Northwest area. Uh, don't use this one. This is a bad one. This shows that you've got a little bit of cash flying around. Bad, bad, bad. An Aldi bag for life. Believe you me, nobody carrying an Aldi bag for life is gonna get attacked. People look at it and think, Oh, they're a bit frugal. Probably got a bit of shit in there. Now, I love Aldi. And I'll be damned if anyone's going to slag it off on my watch. But still carries a little bit of a stigma, doesn't it? Despite it just being affordable. Stuff that really is as good as any other supermarket, if not better in some cases. I've got brie in the fridge. <laughs> Couldn't do that at Sainsbury's. That's what you need. Your Aldi bag for life. Get it ready. Keep it by the door. One more thing you need is a mode of transport in order to actually get out of the city into the countryside or maybe vice versa i don't know why it would go the other way around but don't worry i've already sorted mine out you need to do the same here's just an example bit of fun isn't it fair play someone's put that there in the actual bay but um 
clearly been robbed from the family's home. So you've got your bag, you've got everything ready. Keep it by the door so it's easily accessible. Uh, make sure the door's locked thoroughly. I've got a chain on it so no one's getting through that. Thank God. And look after yourselves and keep liking and subscribing and click that button. Okay. Don't die. Don't die.